Hey guys, so before you can watch this video, um, sorry about the lighting throughout the, the video. I don't have like a ring light or anything, so it looks kind of awkward in a way. And I say the word scared throughout this whole video, so literally, if you're over 21, take a shot every time I say scared because I say it like a million times. I'm so sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Brianna Danielle, and today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, for like a month. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for this package to come in, and it finally came in today. It took almost a month to come. I ordered it April 20th, I think, and it's April 18th. April 18th today. I mean, May 18th. And it finally came. So today, as you can see by the title, um, I'm going to be doing poly gel nails. And I'm super excited because obviously like in quarantine, I literally hate saying that word now. We can't like go get our nails done anymore and I've been wanting to get my nails done. But I can't. So when I found out that there's such thing as like a poly gel nail and like you could like, it looks way easier than like acrylic. I ordered it online and I ordered it from Model Model Ones, Model Ones, I don't know how to say it. It's such a cute little package. Okay, let's, okay, wait, should I like show you guys a post? I also got this UV light and now that I look at it, it's like super cheap. I mean, it was only $8 or $6. It literally looks like a mouse, like for a laptop or something. The whole thing in total was $65 and this is regularly like $75 by itself, but it looks so cheap and I'm like scared that it's like not gonna work or it's gonna probably take like an hour to cure them or whatever it's called. The forms come in here and then I realized that I didn't order or I thought it came with it. Um, what is it called? Slip solution. I didn't order any of that because I thought it came with it, but it didn't so hopefully I'm able to do Accomplish this. This is how like they're supposed to look if you do them right. So let's just see how mine come out I'm keep this here right here for inspiration Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've watched so many videos. So first I'm gonna try to measure what size is what for my nails I'm gonna cut my nails and everything and then I'll be right back Okay, so I cut my nails, but now I'm gonna show you guys me filing them and everything because I feel like if I don't record myself, I'm gonna do it wrong. I literally hate when I go to the nail salon and they file your nails down. It's just so like desatisfying and it hurts. Like it doesn't hurt, but like it just, it looks so ugly. Ew, what if I don't file them? Oh my gosh, I already messed it up. Ew, ew, I'm not filing them. Ew, I'm sorry. I cannot file them. If I just file the tops. Hey, it's more. It took me like 10 years to figure out which size fit my fingers for like the forms and I think I got them Hopefully I'm really scared um, that this isn't gonna work because I suck <laughs> at certain things But anyways, we're just gonna try and do this because uh, I'm gonna have my phone out here to watch the tutorial because like I am feeling nervous and I realize I can't do it without watching something So she puts on her base coat first. It actually came with that. Oh, I also bought this cuticle thing and it's like a rose type smelling thing um, and it's so cute. It's like for your cuticles. Do you see the little roses in there? It's so cute. Okay, the base coat is on. Okay, sorry, I keep moving the camera around and everything, but I cured them, cured them, whatever that means, with the UV light back there because it doesn't reach all over here, sorry. Put the base coat on and then cured them, and they look so cute, which is the base coat. Like, they made my nails look so crispy. Okay, so now is the time that we've all been waiting for, that I've been waiting for to get this little spatula thing and then we're gonna wait let me pick out a, i didn't even pick out what i wanted i think i want clear just because i'm scared mm, let's just go with pearl pink okay i'm literally so scared guys like this is scary for me everyone should know that by my last video i suck i can't even paint my own nails so the fact that i'm doing this is so scary so she simply puts it on the spatula i'm putting some on this Okay, it's on there. Oh my gosh, okay. Which one should I do first? My thumb? Okay, I'm gonna do my thumb. Wait, where do you? I added more. I like my nails long, so hopefully they actually come out long. Oh shit. This is so weird for me. I've seen so many videos now that I'm actually doing it, like, kind of freaking out. I feel like it needs more on the left side and I can't get it on that side. <gasps> oh, it looks so bad. I'm gonna be so mad if it doesn't come out good. I spent $60 on all this. Now I'm just gonna stick this on my nail. Oh, shoot. Okay, is it stuck? 
It is. Oh my gosh, it's slipping out. It's slipping out. It's slipping out. I think I used way too much. It's like super. You guys see that? It's like really high. Oh shoot, I forgot there's a brush on the side. Idiot. Do you have to like use the solution? I was trying to brush it, but like I just <laughs> made it worse. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, it's a little bit crooked, but other than that fact, like it's coming out so cute. Do you guys see that? Wow, it's like crooked, but I didn't even think I was gonna get this far. I like the filer, whatever the frick it is called, file thingy. It works so good. This is so exciting. I'm doing my own nails by myself. I'm not gonna pay for a freaking nail person anymore. What is it called? Nail tech? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. And then hopefully at the end, I actually have some cute nails. Next is the pinky. Again, get your little spatula in the thingy, put the little stuff on it. <laughs> This is so fun, guys. Like, leave a comment down below if you want to do your nails. Okay, I'm not even done yet, and I'm getting way too ahead of myself. But. See, like, this one looks scary because, like, it's already coming up. I'm just scared that, like, the nails are gonna fall off. Like, what if it just falls off? Okay, I cured this pinky one, so now let's take it off. Oh my gosh, see, it's, it's making a cracking sound. <gasps> I got it! Oh my gosh. You guys see how long that is? Oh my gosh. Okay, I cured it twice while sick for 60 seconds because I feel like that UV like not strong enough, so I did it longer. I think it works. This is turning out way better than I thought. I don't know, I kind of want to take off my pinky because like it's it's like weird if you guys could see it. Can you see it? It looks super messy. I was doing so well. That's why I, I hate to say that I'm doing good because then I end up messing something up. Mm, that's not... Oh shoot, why is it like... <gasps> There's so much on the back. Oh my gosh. Ew. That's so bad. There's like a huge clump. Oh frick, I forgot to spread it. There's like a huge clump underneath my nail. Oh frick, I knew I messed up. I knew I was getting to it like freaking cocky. There's like a huge clump right there and it looks so bad. Okay guys. Oh whatever. They look so good, like not even gonna lie. I like the color, but I kind of want to paint over them like a different color. This is how they look for now, so. I just need to do the other hand. And I'm really scared for that because obviously like if you're if you do your nails, then you know it's like hard to do it with opposite hand that you don't write with or whatever or use because I always use my right hand and it was pretty easy with this hand. So if I do with this one and now that I have nails on, I'm not going to be able to like peel off the parts where I like overfilled. So kind of scared, but let's just try it and see if I can do it. I'm already having trouble with this one, my thumb. I had to take it off because I did it like super thick because I keep forgetting to spread it on the back. So it looks like that. <sighs> I already know this is gonna get really hard. So for all you guys out there who are ambidextrous or what is it called, like when you're when you could ride with two hands, good for you, like lucky. Because this is so hard and difficult and stressful. So I will get back to you guys when I figure it out because if I keep recording, I'm just gonna get frustrated and I'm probably not gonna figure it out. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I got frustrated for a little bit, but like I kind of um feel better now so i did these two right here but i did them a different color because i think i'm just gonna end up painting over them because um there's like certain spots i missed on this hand well just with like this finger and i want to paint over it and then like this one's like as you can see it's like clear in certain spots if you could tell so i think i'm just gonna paint over it and i kind of like this one because it's like cl a clear jelly type nail like you know the jelly nails it looks like that but this hand's really pretty because they're like more solid than this one's coming out but um, if I do say so myself, like they're coming out pretty good. Ain't even gonna lie. Like, look at that. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't think this was gonna work out at all. I'm gonna try to finish the rest because. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. Oh my gosh, sorry. I keep staring at them, but. Yeah, so if you guys are gonna do this, make sure you have a clean space. I mean, a, a big space to do it on because there's like. Let me just show you. There's stuff everywhere, like, and then all my nails are all out, and then. Yeah, it's just a big mess in here. Also, this pink one is like hard to spread. It's like more hard than the light pink one. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit since I last updated you guys. I got four of them on. I just made a pinky now, but I don't like the way this pink one is coming out. It's coming out so uneven. Like you can see like it's dark in some areas and then others it's not. Well, this one just came out like all solid. So I don't know why it's doing that. And also I tried cleaning the brush, but like it's hard to come off. So what am I supposed to use to get that off? See, like this one's hard to spread. I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably can't, but it's like super sticky. That's probably why I needed the sticky solution. And I was gonna say like I was doing so well with the other color, and it was, I didn't even need the sticky solution. And then for this, like I feel like I need it because it's moving around so much. Um, after this try, hopefully like after this video, like I become a pro when I keep doing it because this is 
frustrating and my whole desk is probably gonna get all this stuff on it oh shoot let me cure it before oh, i can't even focus right now i'm so annoyed it's burning it's burning it's burning i don't get how people do this like easily like at the video i watched the girl did it for the first time but i think it's because she does acrylic so like you know how do people do this let alone acrylics that's so hard but these ones came out good like sorry i keep talking about them but they came out really good except for this one i need to fix i think i might take it off because it's super skinny i use like a pinky nail one yeah so let me show you guys how they came out this is how this one looks and i think it looks super cute i already showed you guys but i'm gonna show you again and then i think i did this nail too short i cut it too short but like i'll fix it it's fine it still looks cute and then this is how this hand came out and see how it's like different colors all around it like i don't know like it just looks a little weird compared to this hand but i'm gonna fix them up right now i'm gonna like file them down and then put the top coat on and then maybe I'm, I'm gonna paint them but like if not they're gonna stay like this okay guys so this year i literally have three more months until i'm 21 and i'm so excited um hopefully oh you can't even see me so yeah i have three more months until i'm 21 and i'm super excited and i'm not one of those people who like turn 21 you're already drinking like at the age of like 15 or 16 no like me i've never drank or i've never really like i've drank before because my grandma um, made me drink tequila for um, safety reasons for the coronavirus and then I like tried like a sip of her wine before but like other than that I've never like partied and like got drunk or anything so I'm really excited to try it out no I'm just kidding um, I'm not gonna like get obviously I'm not gonna get drunk but I just want to be able to like say I'm 21 um so yeah as I was saying I just can't wait to be 21 because I want to be able to gamble first of all like in Las Vegas oh, oh my gosh it burns so bad ow 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 it burns so bad. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay. Frick. Okay. Um, I want to go to Vegas, first of all, to gamble. Because there's only one place, I think, San Manuel Casino that lets, I think, 18-year-olds gamble. But Vegas, you have to be 21. I'm not going to be an alcoholic, though. Like, frick that. My grandpa always says, like, I hope you don't drink. Like, please don't. Like, don't be like that. But, like, if I wanted to, I would have by now. Like, right? Like, there's a bunch of people and kids, like, who started drinking by the age of, like, 16 or 17. And I haven't. So, we're getting there. Three more months to go. Um, it kind of burns a little bit, but not as bad as it did right now. Okay, guys, so Danae came home right now and she made me do her nails. So. Don't mind the <laughs> clear see. one. Yeah, she. I was gonna do the clear one on both of the ring fingers but then i forgot about it on that one so this is how they look and they're kind of not perfect because i did them short so it was harder for me because like the longer ones like were easier oh my gosh look at my prettier but she got the same color as me on this one so yeah that's her nails i finished earlier i forgot to tell you guys that i finished um the top coat and i didn't paint them over because i didn't have any cute nail polish colors i'm gonna paint up this mess now hmm? can i show them my messed up nail yeah, I guess. Brianna was doing my nails. Well, like, yeah. And then <laughs> the nail, the thumb is kind of messed up because it didn't fit oh, yeah, it doesn't my fit. nail. I used a smaller one and I didn't want to do it again because I'm wasting a lot. Because yeah. I wasted a lot. Well, not that much, but kind of a lot. My final verdict of the nails. Would I recommend getting these? Um, honestly, yeah, it's fun to do, kind of. Well, this hand was really fun to do, the left hand. But then when I did my right hand, I was kind of frustrated for a little bit because... I'm bad with my left hand obviously so if you want to not spend as much money like often because like acrylic nails for me like my nails grow out fast so like i have to get them done every like three weeks if i want like to get them filled to get them for the first time they're like 40 dollars or more i think it's worth it because it comes with a lot of colors they do run out easily though because i feel like i'm already off, out of my other one but i think it's because i wanted them long I, think I do recommend it so if you guys want to get them i got them from model ones like i said the actual website they're on amazon too but they were sold out when i wanted to buy them so yeah i 10 out of 10 recommend my nails so yeah if you guys don't want to spend as much money on getting acrylic nails all the time and if you want to be patient with yourself and like trust yourself and make in doing acrylic i mean doing poly gel nails then i recommend so yeah that's gonna be it for my video so thank you guys so much for watching it took me like 10 hours to make so hopefully you like this video so yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up but these are my nails thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you like them hopefully you get something out of this video hopefully you buy them hopefully you try them out if you don't then keep spending a bunch of money on acrylics like do what you gotta do. 
But me, I'm gonna start using these, so. And now there's a mess all over my desk and it's super sticky everywhere, so yeah. Okay, bye. <gasps> I think I just cracked my chair. <laughs>